So yeah, as the title says, I'm a beast. I only just noticed this comment earlier on a video I made in the summer of last year addressing the subject of the seven Noah Shide laws, a collection of do nots, an inadequate moral code by modern standards that I pull at and question. As I've said before, I'll repeat it here. I'm a fan of profanity and free inquiry. A guy called Mark Rogers took exception to this and said, You have shown your true colours through your disrespect for foundational aspects of society. But if you want to live as a wild beast without a conscience, go right ahead. Wow. Never has someone been so comprehensively owned on the internet as I have now been. I might as well just shut this channel down and go and live in the forest, as would be appropriate for a wild beast. I'll live in a tent and eat bugs. Yeah, creepy crawlies will provide adequate sustenance, I imagine. I feel like I should flesh this plan out a little bit more before putting it into action, though. I should... yeah. Should I be naked while living in the forest? Beasts don't wear clothes, right? You know, I'll wait till the summer. It's a little bit nippy right now. I'll wait till it warms up a bit. Yeah. So I go over to Mr. Rogers' channel. Guy doesn't have any content. On his subscription list are such things as PragerU and The Watchman. That's informative. That tells me something. He looks like a middle-aged man in his photo. Yeah. Where is the room for moral improvement where you simply follow ancient scriptures like a good little sheep, never questioning, kicking scepticism into the long grass? How do you develop as a person, grow and season as a thinking being? That was the gist of my question, or questions, in the original video. Which went unanswered. I guess for some it's just easier to... ...denounce. Perhaps more fun as well to just denounce or reject the enemy, the heathen, rather than address the substance of what's been asked. I completely stand by what I said about the seven Noah Shide laws. I'll link to that one in the description below anyway. Two emotions on seeing this comment rising and falling one after another. First, amusement at its ridiculousness, but then sadness, yeah, for real. Though it's not surprising in the slightest anymore, it makes me sad that grown adults believe in myths and ancient stories or story retellings as if they were the indisputable truth. Following primitive codes and so-called laws, worshipping a desert god who doesn't make any reasonable sense. Some people, they're strong enough to break the spell and walk away from the cult. Yeah, they have the strength, but others never make it out. Powerful drug, Christianity. Some strains are stronger than others. One good thing about the UK, in my opinion at least, is that... We infidels, our numbers are growing, and that will continue to be the case. We wild beasts, we will win the numbers game. But the Christians, Muslims, Jews, Hindus, etc., they need not worry, as we are a peaceful race of animals, live and let live, being our motto.